Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Coding Care. Today, I will discuss one of the microservice concept called Circuit Breaker. What is Circuit Breaker Design Pattern? So, Circuit Breaker Design Pattern is used in distributed system. Okay, this is, this is used in distributed system. Why? To prevent, prevent repeated failures and it will improves it will improves system resilience so what is that mean for example suppose i have multiple services one this is one service this is one service and this is one service and this is one services and suppose this service is calling to this microservice okay and this service is repeatedly failing at that time what we need to do to avoid the repeated falling or repeated call this microservices because if this microservices is repeated falling then no need to call right how to handle this scenario so circuit breaker comes using the circuit breaker we can implement how to reduce the load on falling services let's get started here you can see there are multiple services is there I have already explained API Gateway, Service Registry, all these things I have already explained in my previous video, okay. So now, let's say this is my phone services, okay. And in this phone services, if you will see here in controller class, I have created two REST APIs. One is creating the phone and another is get the fund, okay. So here, for creating fund, I am passing the fund entity class. And the same entity class, if I'll go to service and I'm saving this fund information in fund tables. Okay. So here, if I will see in fund class, the fund have fund ID, fund name, description, asset type, subcategory, expense ratio and nav. Nav is nothing but net asset value. Okay. And here in postman, I'm passing the net asset value here. So this is my API. I'm passing this information to create the new fund okay but here what i will do instead of passing the net asset value i will call one of the service called pricing service and i will pass fund id based on the fund id i'll get the price and i'll set this price to this net asset value so for now i don't have pricing services okay let me create the pricing services first so create new this is spring starter project this is pricing service and uh, i'll add the eureka discovery client and uh, spring web okay next finish now the pricing service is created here i'll create one package called dot controller in controller i am creating one class called pricing controller finish then here i will make it as at the rate rest controller okay and here public double get price get price now I'll pass at the rate path variable and string fund ID. At the rate get mapping and this is slash get price and slash I'm passing on ID now I'll return any price for example suppose I'm writing some if condition first I'll convert this fund ID to integer and ID equal to integer dot percent of fund ID now if okay if ID is equal to equal to let's say one two three okay then 
the value is double price equal to zero dot zero now price equal to let's say 129.45 okay now else if id equal to if id equal to let's say 124 then price equal to 134.78 now i'll return return price okay i just run this server yeah cannot execute request on unknown server why this is a problem in instance of replicator okay so let me here the discovery client also for in we have already this one yeah yeah, this one we can add in properties file and I am changing the port number server dot port let's say 9094 okay now rerun this one okay let me run the service registry first now if you'll go to here localhost 8761 so now the pricing service is off now i'll call this api so localhost this is 9094 get price slash 123 okay why it's giving error this is get price okay one two three yeah now i got the response okay now the pricing service is ready so i'll now i'll call this api from the fund services okay so in postman i am passing the net asset value also but instead of passing this net asset value i am calling this pricing controller get price api i am fetching this price and i'll set here in with net asset value then how we'll do or how i'll call this pricing services we need rest template so rest template rest template and here i am using at the rate auto add i am doing field injection then here in first i will make the url string url equal to this is the url and just copy it and paste it for now i am passing this value as hard coded okay so here i am fun dot set net asset value is so First, I'll call this API, right? So, rest template dot get for object. The first parameter will pass URL, and the second parameter I'll pass double dot class. This is URL. Yeah. Now it will return the double, and this is price. Now this price I'll set here. Now when we'll call this API using the REST template will get some exception like REST REST client exception yeah and this will throw this will throw new runtime runtime exception suppose pricing service and passing some message like pricing service is not available okay then with i'm passing the exception object okay now i'll run this one this one services yeah now it's started i'll go to the eureka just let me check yeah this one service and pricing services is up now i'll call this create fund api i am not passing the net asset value here okay let's send the request yeah now 129.45 is came so here 
we have hard coded this value right in pricing services i am hard coded this value if this 123 will come id then this price will return okay now just check the mysql so here yeah now 129.45 net set value is set now the question is suppose if this pricing controller okay so pricing services like uh, this is pricing services now i am stop the server okay now the pricing services is not up so if i'll check here in service registry now only fund services is running so i'll go to here i'll send the request yeah now i am getting 500 internal server why just check the log here it says connection refused okay so now we need to apply how we'll add the circuit breaker here first of all we need to add the dependency in fund services this is my fund services in pom.xml i'll add the dependency for resilience 4j yeah now spring cloud starter circuit breaker resilience 4j dependency added now in fund services i am writing this code for at the rate circuit breaker and here we need to pass the name name is for example any name we can uh, write like this is pricing service okay then next parameter is fallback method so if this method will fall then which method will call this is nothing but fallback method so for example this is i'm setting get default price default price and this method we need to create this method we need to create get default price and this method will return double this is i'm making as private okay so this is my fallback method this is my fallback method so if this method will fail to call this service then this fallback method will call so in this method okay, what is the parameter we, we need we need fund right we need fund as well as i need some exception so this is throwable okay throwability now here fund dot set nav is suppose i am passing some default value so 135 dot 98 fund repo dot save of fund okay so this is my default one instead of returning double i can return fund directly yeah this is return yeah now everything is good okay let me rerun this fund service okay fund service is rerun now i'm sending the request yeah now see that net asset value is coming 135.98 so here this method has failed to call this api so i have written the alternative method this is fallback method now the fallback method is setting some default value okay 135.98 so this is how our circuit breaker is working so in circuit breaker also two three concept is is there like uh, open state closed state and half open state suppose i am sending the request to here okay and here i will call these services so i just wanted to call these services five times after five times if it will not say uh, given any response then directly i call this method instead of calling this method so how to configure so in fun services in a resource in application dot properties file i'll add some properties yeah this one so here failure rate of threshold 50 that means if it is more than 50 percent of the request fails okay if it is more than 50 percent of the request fail uh, in the sliding window like if you uh, if you check here in the sliding window is 10 suppose the sliding window is 10 and uh, i am sending uh, five time of request 
okay and this is 50 percent request right if this 50 percent request of fail then uh, this uh, uh, circuit will open okay uh, we'll check here one by one so so here if you'll check the console i'm just clearing the console i'm sending the request see here okay so we can do one thing we can write some system dot out dot print ln in font service here i'm writing a system dot out dot print ln create fun method call okay here i'll write one more sys out this is callback method called okay here i'll add some message like t dot get message yeah now i just rerun this one service yeah just clear the cancel i am sending the request here here see fallback method call and fun method call two times i send yeah same third time fourth time then fifth time okay now i am sending one more time see here this is first time call create one method this is second time call this is third time this is fourth time and this is fifth time after fifth time i send the request again okay instead of calling this create one method call it directly call this fallback method here and now if you'll check here circuit breaker pricing service is open and does not permit further calls okay directly it calls now here i have mentioned in properties file like this is wait duration in open state is 10 second 10 second means now i got this open state right so if i'll send this again okay now it is not open state again it calls the create one method okay when it will be open state then after i'll send the request again then again it will open state but after 10 second if i'll send the request here again it will call this create one method instead of call direct fallback method so this is how open uh, and closed is working Okay, closed is nothing but the api is working properly okay so this is how we can implement the circuit breaker design pattern so please keep watch and share my video okay thanks everyone